up in the city on a late night, getting tired, trying to find a shorty with a fatty little waist size. Out in Dolo, trying to work, I gotta take time. I've been out all day, pull up on me late. I got way too much stress on me. All these haters keep testing me. I just want you with your breasts on me, baby girl. You be fucking with the best on me. So around nine, hop in, we drive. A couple homies by my side in case they slide. You say you take it, but tonight, girl, you're mine, baby. I want you to ride, 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 ride. If you wanna go and take a ride with me, we three wheeling in the four with the gold beat. So I do I live this way? If you wanna go and get high with me, smoke a L in the back of the Benz. Oh, I must have feel this way. Which one of y'all leaving with me tonight? I'm fucked up. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another video. What we have it today? A bam! That's right. These are the Lightbone Nike SB collaboration. New York, the Petty Dice, Paris, actually. Um. Yeah, these things were actually the GR, I guess, if you guys want to call it. There were two shoes that came out today. It was the Lakers to, or LA to Chicago's. And of course, you got these. These are the New York to Paris, Paris to New York, one or the other. But, you know, this was mainly a GR, I want to say. So these came out to almost every store. Uh, pretty easy to get. It shouldn't have been that hard. Anyone that had a problem with these things, eh, I don't know, maybe because of your area or something. But these things were. I guess these were the GR version compared to the Chicago to Lakers, which is actually very limited and only in three uh, foot action stores. But all in all, man, these this is actually pretty dope shoe. I like this colorway. It's cool. No, I just don't like that white bottoms. That's the only thing I don't like. But other than that, I you know I think it's a dope shoe. It's cool. Um, material wise, mm, it's okay. Um, the concept of it. I think it's dope, you know, you get the little, I mean, the big thing about it is this, like, scratch off, rub off material where it can kind of, like, you know, rub off to a different color, and I'm definitely not going to do that, so if you guys want to see what they kind of look like, I guess you can search on Google, or I'll put it right here, but I know that the Laker LA to Chicago's was, like, you know, a lot more limited, and it's a lot more expensive, but I wonder if anyone out there had the Lakers and the Light Bones, or the New York to Paris, is the quality and leather still the exact same? So you're telling me that just because of color, then it's a four to $500 difference? Well, if that's the case, let's just go ahead, let's get into this review real quick. First things first, let's take a look at the leather quality. Is it good? Is it, it's all right. I mean, I'm gonna be frank with y'all for real. I mean, just look at the toe box leather here. I mean, it ain't nothing too special. Ain't no tumbled or anything. It's it's just a smooth, you know, leather. It's cool. It's definitely gonna crease like crazy for sure. But check it out right here. And then also you can take a look at the toe box as well. Look at the leather quality here. And yes, you can kind of see how the paint, once it rubs off, it will have this crimson type of color way on throughout through here. If you guys want to rub it off, highly recommend like nail polish remover. And you can see that on the side panels, leather on that part. And yes, the Nike swoosh is this, you know, same type of leather. But the Nike swoosh does turn pink. You can see the little pink little outline in here. So once that rubs off, yes, it will be pink. And of course, this will rub off onto the side panels as well. Take a look at the wing logo here. You got the Air Jordan 1 iconic wing logo up top on the heels. And the leather quality up here on top, it's, uh, it's okay. Again, everything on here is just okay. Look at the back of the back stitching. Moving on to the side panels. You can kind of see this where how it kind of looks like it where it rubbed off. That's the, gonna be the color, if you guys can see that. So all of this will rub off throughout from the heels to the ankle collars and all the way to the side panels here and onto the toe box. All that will rub off. And yes, you do have this lace up on the first eyelids on like on most Jordan 1s here. It, it comes with your standard black flat rope lacing and yes it does come with extra laces if, if you guys can see you have this crimson type of colorway you have the gray 
color here and you have that hot pink right here so four laces all total with this shoe and moving up to this black nylon tongue you guys have up here going up to the top you have that nike sb tag up on the top of course inside the insole you have this very hot pink nike sb insole inside and then inside you have this little nylon material inside the sock liner and you do have this gray cement uh midsole here and of course you have that iconic air jordan one outsole on the bottoms this gray light gray color so there you guys have it. These are the SB collaboration with Jordan. These are the New York to Paris, Paris. And I just want to say this is a good alternate for, I believe this is a Jordan release issue only for people that have took a L on everything else, like the Laker to Chicago's or what the hell else came out today? Some other things, whatever. And this is like, here, you guys took an L on that. Here, we'll just give this to you guys. So bam. Uh, I believe these things are also, they release these kind of early in a couple uh, skate shops. So, you know, some people have their review kind of early. But so for this one, I don't think anyone should have a problem. Even a small size, like a size eight. I'm not sure if they went to a size seven, but I believe people on the sneaker apps, they were pretty much go, going easy. Um, I believe on the websites, like the foot sites, they didn't sell out to like later on for a while, while, because everybody was trying to get for the Lakers, of course. And yeah, man, these these things is cool. I think I think everyone should give this thing a try. If you like this colorway, I think it's dope. Do I like it when it rubs off? Mm, I don't know about that one. I didn't do much research on the shoe to be honest. Like all I know is just the paint rub off. But can someone please explain to me how this thing kind of collaborate with SB? Because it basically looks like it, like a freaking Jordan One. It's just they put SB on here. I don't know. I mean, it's cool, whatever. But I mean, my only. Dungs SBs I have are these. These are my only ones I have, and it just doesn't. These things just looks like a Jordan one to me. You know, I don't, I'm pretty done with this. I'm very very sorry. So please, someone comment down below, explain that to me. And I guess I get the concept of these things. Why the paint rubs off? Because when you do skateboard and stuff, maybe that's how the collaboration is. Because when you skateboard, you'll see all the paint rubbing off, which I think is that's actually pretty neat. That's pretty cool. But how do these fit, man? I say they fit about true to size. Um, I'll, yeah, they fit just like every Jordan One. You know, Jordan Ones. Of course, they look great with skinnies. They look fantastic with joggers. Um, but for this one in particular, with this colorway, I think it's a great summer shoe. I honestly, I probably won't bust out to the fall. That's just me. But this will also look great, and also just with shorts and socks. About the availability of these things, man. These things. I think they were ever. I'm not sure if anybody even wanted these things for real, or maybe because they released kind of a little bit earlier in certain uh, stores. Um, but these things, I, th I believe these things are even sitting. So if you guys really want these things, I say go ahead and look at your uh, local retail store. Maybe they're sitting in your store. It depending where you're from, of course. You know, if you're from like one of the big cities where all the hype beasts are at, you know, size, you know, small size is gonna be gone definitely. So small sizes to like you know size nine and a half basically gone. Uh, a couple of my stores, they had a couple of nine and a half uh, left over, but that's about it. And I just went ahead and picked up, you know, my personal pair for myself. And the reason these things is not bad at all. It actually is not, it's not really much. Uh, are these things bricks? Mm, kind of, yeah. I mean, these things probably, I, I say these things are about like, these things are pretty much bricks. I mean, they're only going for like 200, like 200, a little bit over retail. These things retail for 175, yo. And supposedly these are quick strike so i couldn't even use coupons in so i these were a total of 185 and that's what i'm kind of scared of i'm wondering if jordan one's gonna go that direction when they're gonna start bumping up the price when they're gonna be like everything's gonna be 175 i think the travis scott's 175 but that's travis scott's so you can put any price on it for real and these things are now 175 just because it has the sb tag on it get out of here i mean seriously I think they should just keep at the 160 because they already killed, you know, the other retros have at it 190 and now even 200. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna bump the price because they're seeing all the popularity of how the Jordan ones are lately. All right, guys, that's all in all, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, guys. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop big, guys. I right, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.